Today I have got my Machinist X99 G7 motherboard, so let's take it out from this box and take a look what's inside. So just like this, this box lies in a plastic bag with no bubble wrap, nothing. The cardboard is pretty thick, so it shall be safe enough, but I would still prefer to have some bubble wrap. Let's open it up and take a look what we have inside. Here is just one extra layer of cardboard and the motherboard itself, but first it is a SATA cable and the motherboard itself. Of course, we also have here the IO shield. Let's take out the motherboard from the anti-static bag. Here we have got some machinist label. This is first time I see such things from machinist. Let me try to focus so we can see what is in there. Some warnings, blah, blah, blah thingies. Okay. Let's open it up and take out the motherboard from there. Okay. So here is the motherboard and I see that there is a screw flying around. Yes, let me try to focus on the motherboard. So there was this little screw flying around and I'm not sure where it is coming from because usually these screws are from M.2 slots, but I can see, okay, it's probably from here, from the Wi-Fi M.2 slot. So, like this is not a strategy, but it is not nice that these screws are just flying around in the box. And on the motherboard, we can see that we have a speaker. It is pretty annoying. The chipset radiator is slightly different than we have here front IO, USB 3, USB 2 on the front panel. And this I think is a COM board maybe, I'm not sure. Then front audio and the four pin fan connector. This is supposed to be clear CMOS, not sure if it's working or not. Again, very annoying BIOS chip, which is soldered onto the motherboard. I'm not sure uh, if this one will be possible to read or write with my clips, but it is soldered. Four SATA ports, four memory slots, and as far as I know, these are quad memory channel. But what's interesting is that these are DDR3. The VRAM radiator is not too big, but also not completely tiny. What's bad is that these VRAM uh, doublers are still not covered by the VRAM heatsink, so they might be overheating. The VRAM controller is over here, also not under the heatsink. On the IO side, we have exactly the same as Machinist X99 RS9, four USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, Ethernet port, audio exit, and two PS2 ports. So now it's time to install my CPU, which I'm going to test on this motherboard. And this is gonna be E5 2666V3. As usual, it is important to take a look at your socket pins, because if there are some damages you need to claim to AliExpress and open a dispute straight away. In my case, we can see that it doesn't seem to have any damages, so I will test how it works with the CPU, but at least I don't have any visual damages. So the CPU is installed and the motherboard is ready to be tested. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.